guys from the Stars Channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make DIY Play-Doh. But before that, I'm very sorry I haven't posted in a while because I've been busy with Land Plus preparation. But thanks for your support. Make sure to subscribe so you can see when I'll be posting my new video. But I will try to post more re more frequently now. I have dedicated this video to my sister because she has been asking for Play-Doh for a long time. And now I just thought it would be perfect time to do it as we're in lockdown and we're free. So she will be appearing later on the show. But before that, let's get started. Ooh. Welcome my sister to this channel. She's very annoying. Say hello. Hello. Welcome to my sister's channel. Please oh. <laughs> do for me pink dragon. She's very weird. She will be helping me with some of the mixing. So let's go. First of all, you will need First of all, a bowl. bowl. My sister's going to tip and in some flour. flour. There's 10 what? tablespoons of flour in this. And you're going to tip it into a bowl. And then you will need some salt. This is, this is two tablespoons of salt and one teaspoon. So she's going to tip it in. Careful. Now you need some water. Some water. And then there's the lady This there. is cold water, but you can use hot water if you want. Just be careful. After this, you are going to put After in this. some baby oil. This is one tablespoon of baby oil, and I'm going to tip it in. Now, me and my sister are going to both. So this is optional, but you can add in a few drops of food colouring. I've used pink here. Now, me and my sister are both going to mix it up with some spoons. Mix! Come on! This can get very dirty, so you ask a parent to help you. Mix, 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 mix! Ah! So as you can see here, it's going to come together, but it might take a couple of minutes. Make sure the water is completely mixed with the flour, so you get a complete dough. Once you have mixed with your spoon and it's got less sticky, you can go in with your hands and get messy. Oh, as you can see, it's come together. I do it. My sister wants to do it, so I hand it over to her. I think it's nearly ready. So let me take it out if she ever lets go of it. Do it! Do it! Give it! I'll just take this part. So, do you want some more pink? Yeah. So, if you want more pink, you're going to add some more food colouring to it. And my sister's going to do this part. Whoa! So, make sure you mix it in really good. And the more food colouring you add, the darker it goes. Dark goes. Oh, Please note that if you add loads of food colouring, it may be dark but it will get really watery and you have to add some more flour to it. Flowers. And if it's too thick then you can add a little bit more water to it to make it the right consistency. So we add a bit of food colouring and it's sticky again so we're going to just add a little more flour. So about one tablespoon would do fine. Okay. I'll add it in. Oh, what do you Three, do? two, one. Do it! Okay, we'll mix it in now. Make sure you add a tablespoon at a time and because if you add too much, you have to add more water and then it's going to be too watery. You have to add more flour. So you don't want to do that. This is a very easy recipe. So you can definitely do it in lockdown because you should have these ingredients as they're very accessible. So. Give it to me! Ah! Yes! Got more of it! Ha ha! Ah. Got it. I will. Okay, 
So here's your first recipe finished. Okay. It's quite it's stretchy. Petty. It's quite stretchy. And very soft and moldable. So you can make shapes and encourage your toddler or child to be creative. Have fun with it. Now it has right, reached the right consistency after kneading for a couple of minutes. It should not be sticky, but it should be a little bit stretchy and moldable. You can use this to make little fun shapes <laughs> and this, that's my sister being annoying you can use this to make little fun shapes and teach your children about more shapes <laughs> so i'm going to give this to my sister wow. do you like it yeah this is way better than way the dough you get at shops Shop. you should definitely try it out Ow. so now i'm just going to show you how to play with it so you can make new molds and be creative this is actually safe for toddlers and babies because it has no chemicals in it and you're gonna have a lot of fun playing with this lots of fun players so let's play let's play you crazy so i have a little bit of dough here half of it's to my sister she wouldn't give it to me she loved it so much so you're going to flatten it out, get a rolling pin if you want, and just roll it out. This is just one of the ideas. So once you have did it, you can get a couple of cutters. Like my sister loves tractors, so probably I, a tractor I, one, I she wants it. You can teach children about the shapes with these love heart shapes and other shapes, love like heart. stars as well. And you're just going to put it in and squash it on top. Squashing on bars. Yeah. So make sure to put the sharp side down. There. Once you put it in, you can put a couple of cutters in. And then you're just going to move them a little bit. And when you take it off, voila, there's a star here. You can play with these and have fun. The best thing is you can always use it. You can use it up to two weeks with when you put it in a ziplock cover and put it inside the fridge as soon as you finish playing with it so i'm going to roll this out for my sister to try now so make sure the dough is not too thin and not too thick or you won't be able to cut out your shapes so i'm going to take this out and turn it over okay so what shape have you chosen oh pig that's nice do you want to do it now Okay, so you put the sharp side down. This. No, sharp side. There. Press. I, I put it. Press it. Press. Be strong. Use your muscles. Yes, I do. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Now take it out. Now take this out. Carefully. <laughs> oh my goodness, look how good my sisters have came out. Well done! High five! Yeah! This is wow! Okay, this is what I made for my sister. I hope she loves it. So I'm going to put this to the side. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, but don't break it. Like this video and comment down what you want me to do next. Bye!